Hey guys, and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum with me, Zen. So as you can see, uh, I'm not in Jubilife anymore, and that's because I managed to get through Ravaged Path, which is really short and just in need of a Rock Smash. Also, I was I planned to record the way here, but apparently it wasn't recording. So yeah, so let me just recap what we did. First, we uh, so in order to get through Ravaged Path, which was really short. We needed to get a Pokemon that could learn Rock Smash. And uh, as you can see, our Psyduck knows Rock Smash because it's a really good Pokemon for HMs in this game. And uh, as you can see, its name is Chris Bacon because we can't put in Chris P. Bacon because, you know, it's just 10 letters. So, yeah. Uh, actually, I got that suggestion from someone in the comments. Let me just uh, plug it in right here and you can see it. So, yeah, thank you for the suggestion. Keep your uh, comments up and engagements. So, yeah, so uh, let me know what I can do to make this playthrough more fun. Any any suggestions would really be good. So, right here, uh, like I said, I went, through, uh, I went through Ravaged Path. But before that, I had to catch a Psyduck. And I had to teach it Rock Smash. But, so, what cha other changes did I do to my team? So, first off, I taught Staravia Return. Now, what is Return? Return is a move that uh, increases in power as the friendship of your Pokemon increases. So, this is gonna be really good because Staravia is a normal type and you get the same type attack bonus. So, yeah. Return is a very, very good move. And I guess this is my tip for you guys. Teach Return to a Pokemon that you know has a lot of friendship with you. So how do you know if it has a lot of friendship? Well, you can't really know, but if you know the Pokemon has stayed with you for at least three gyms, or at least or from the very start, and it's a normal type, I suggest you use this move. A frustration is the exact opposite. It gets more powerful as the Pokemon hates the trainer, but it's a pretty useless move. So why would anyone want to hate under Pokemon, but yeah. So we thought we thought Staravia return. Uh, what else? Yeah, I guess that's it. And we fought these trainers right here for XP. This bug catcher guy, uh, that that gardener over there, right here. And yeah, I guess that's it for now. So we head on to Toroma Town. Okay. So we are in the next town, and what I'm gonna do is. I actually, I actually forgot that I think we have to fight the Team Galactic first. Yeah, I think we do. So, I'll see you guys there. Or just cut to the parts where it's kind of interesting. Oh, guys! Okay, so something interesting happened. So, we got the move Pluck, which is a flying type move. And the good thing about that is it steals the berry the foe is holding. So, we are gonna give that because it's super good. And of course, we are giving it to our uh, Star uh, Staravia. So actually, wait, never mind. I'm not. I'm not getting this because uh, it's the same type. It's a, It does the same damage as Wing Attack, and we're basically wasting a TM. So yeah, the Roland Town was a barren, desolate hill long ago, avoided even by Pokemon. People started planting flowers on it because it was such a sad place. But nothing would grow, people didn't know what to do. And then one day, someone expressed thanks for the blessings of nature. Then the whole hill burst into bloom. Okay, what a great story. So, yeah, here we are in the town. I guess that's the only interesting bit. And... Do we have to go here? Yeah, actually we have to go there. But before I do that, let me just buy some potions. Alright, so I grabbed some berries and we are in Route 205. And there are more berries, and berries are great. Chesto Berry, oh that's really good. Because Chesto Berries uh, uh, heal sleep. So if you use that with rest, that's technically a free heal. So there's another Petra Berry that, if I'm not mistaken, that heals poisoning. So yeah. Help, help, trainer, please, I want to see my papa. My papa and I lived at the Valley Windworks, but then a whole bunch of people dressed like spacemen came. This is what I was talking about, so Team Galactic. So I guess in this episode, we'll be taking on Team Galactic, and yeah, I guess that's it. Because uh, if we go 
I think I think it's Eterna City after this. Or maybe the forest. I don't know. Anyway. But then a whole bunch of people dressed like spacemen came. They kicked me out and they're making my papa do something. Please trainer, I miss my papa. Okay, we will rescue that. Oh, oh okay. wait. We, Team Galactic, are conducting research in the Eterna Forest. This is as far as you will go. Our research involves catching Pokemon in the flowery meadows of Floroma. We are also covertly stealing the energy of the Valley Windworks. Wow. Okay. So apparently... Uh, wait. I'm just I'm just curious. What, what can we catch here? We can... Oh! Wait. The thing is, we already have a water type, so... Shellos evolves into Gastrodon, if you guys didn't know. Uh, what else can we get? A Shinx. A Shinx. Wait, wait, wait. Guys, let's think this through. Because if, if I'm going to get a Shinx right now, how am I supposed to level up the rest of them? Oh, this is hard. I'm just gonna get it for XP. I'm actually just gonna make it paint for XP. So, yeah. I don't have any interest in an electric type right now. At least not the mid game. And we found another Shinx. Uh, Luxray, again, like I said, it's really good. And it has Intimidate. Great! But Return should get it in one hit, and it's a crit. So, you're fine. Uh, since since I want my starter or Aqua to be the highest level, I'm actually putting it on the start. Again, we're not using uh, Chris. We're not using our start. We're not using the side up for any battles whatsoever. And I don't really think it's a good battling Pokemon. So. Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks. I got ordered to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're gonna get try to get in. Okay then, you'll have to battle me for it. He's gonna die. Okay. So, I'm challenged by Galactic Grunt. And... Uh, huh. Okay, we should go for the... And I get flinched first turn. Nice. That's very nice. Right. Right then. Okay, I guess we're gonna take two hits and we're down to almost half HP. And we almost fell asleep. That was scary. Okay. And we defeated them. Nice. Yeah, I'm re like I'm really supposed to win with a Pokemon like this. Better team comp, man. Isn't that just great? Getting owned by some kid. But you can't do a thing if I lock myself in with my work ski. That's right, the other work ski is not here. So my cohorts in the flower patch have the only other one. Ha ha ha. In that sense, I'm no longer the loser. Cheap. Cheap move. Alright, so I was healing my Pokemon. And yeah. So I'm going to have to battle these two grunts. So let's see this. This is as far as you will go. Blah blah blah. Wait. Wait, then how are we supposed to... Hold on, guys. Let me figure this out. Okay, guys. Okay, okay. I found it out. So, apparently, there's an area beneath this. So, like, I thought it was just enough. I thought it was just a plain a forest or meadows. Apparently, there's an area here. So, I think this is where we get the key. Yeah, this is where we get the key. Enough arguing. Hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say. Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is a witness. We don't need the brat running off to get help. The solution's simple. We ensure the brat stays quiet. And of course, it is a battle. And he's gonna send out a Stunky and I have a Rintlock. And we get a really bad defense drop, but we should be fine. And we... Oh my god, our defense is so bad right now. Uh, okay, it's gonna spam Screech, so we should be fine. Yes, sir, okay. 219 XP, and yeah, he's gonna get stuck as a grunt. This is so lame. They're going to, they're going to dock my pay. I'm up next. Hehehehehe. <laughs> Battling you right after my cohort weekend. You gives me the edge. Oh, oh, he didn't even weaken me, man. Like, he literally just pump screech, so does it matter? No. And he sends out a Zubat, one of the most annoying cave Pokemon in history. 
and he astonishes me for little damage. We bring him to red, and we somehow get confused. Okay. And we got the W. But there's one more, and... Alright guys, I forgot to tell you. If we're gonna fight the admin of Team Galactic, which we might, uh, we have to pre prepare for that Perugly, because that Perugly is so fast, and if we don't prepare right, we're going to get destroyed. So yeah, anyway, Zubats should be easy. Two shot with return. Actually, no, not even a two shot, just a one shot. And we de defeated him. I want a promotion so I can get some tougher Pokemon. But that's kind of sad. This brat stuff, like really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words, and I know a lot of words. Shakespeare. We're done for here. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. It must be for the Valley Windworks. Nice. It's not of no use to me. You may as well have it. Alright, so we get the works key. And uh, we saved him. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sure were weird though. You saw how they were dressed. What they were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense either. I need to thank you. This sweet, sweet honey. Go on, take a whole lot. <coughs> Slather that honey on a sweet smelling tree. It might attract Pokemon. Alright, so if we go here, I think we can find something. Is that is house. Like what kind of person just lives here? If you put honey on a tree, check back later to see if it's wrestling. If it is, it's quite often a rare Pokemon. I'll, it gets my hope up. It gets my hopes up if I see that happening. The flowers that grow in the fields here are special. You see how they're more vivid than flowers as for in Sinnoh? You can thank Pokemon for that. Alright. Okay, so we only took minimal damage. I'm not really healing at the Pokemon Center. Alright. Works key. And it should be good. We should activate the door. And yes. Opened. There we go. What? No way. You have the key? Locking the door was meaningless. I am the loser in this after all. This is no time for self-pity. I got to alert the commander. Yeah, yeah. See, this is what I'm saying, guys. So. Oh. Oi. That's weird. This is no fun in games. This is proper work, I tell you. Battle, battle. This is gonna be boring. I'll just see you guys when we're fighting the commander. Alright, so we beat those two grunts for XP. For XP. And we should be able to really just uh, fight the commander right now. I don't see any I don't see any problem with that. So yeah, here we go. I'm one of the I'm all, I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. No wait. That's one of four commanders. My name is Mars. Mars. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding about what we actually do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. And Angar. I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. Angar. Let's go. Alright, so I am challenged with Commander Mars. And the Zubat is not the thing that scares me here. It's the Porugly because it's really fast. And we got hit by Toxic. Oh god. Okay. I forgot Zubat can learn Toxic. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh never mind. Yeah, so Toxic is a move. For those for those of you who don't know, Toxic is a basically poisoning. Except it gets worse every turn that your Pokemon is in. So uh, it deals more damage the, the longer Pokemon stays. So what you can do to reset that is to actually switch. So that's what I'm doing right now. And we are gonna switch to Ariel. Let's go Ariel. Uh, here we go. For ugly. And we lower the attack. That's really good because I actually forgot Saravia to intimidate. So yeah, Perugly's attacks are physical and we should be fine here. It's faster. And we get Finch first turn. That's fine. And yeah, see? Uh, we're gonna hit it with return and it barely does anything. Oh dear. Okay. 
we're going to need we're going to need to heal up guys we're going to need to heal up again i didn't say i said i could use items in battle so yeah this should be fine paint attack uh actually let's go for the quick attack let's see if we can beat it yes we do okay bug champ and we get wait wait, wait. six 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 oh god but we level up a hole and uh yeah this can't be i lost you brat oops i messed that one up that's all right though i quite enjoyed our battle charon who's charon my my lose to a child will you but no matter we've collected plenty of electricity with the power you obtained we can do something quite spectacular it seems quite obvious to me charon that the genius or even the boss recognizes now mars we should be going will you shut it the boss is the only person in the world who's allowed to order me around aka cyrus because i've played this so many times i just don't remember it you can keep quiet around me you've only joined us recently burn don't you think don't think you're important i guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being team galactic they were saying that they had to gather pokemon and energy no matter what as for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing said, nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. I can't tell you how grateful I am for you saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. So that's the guy, yeah. Papa. Yup, Papa, you're stinky. Get, go shower now, stinky. Oh, sorry. Aha, ha, ha. They had me working nonstop. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. Balloon, what? Okay, so that's it. And we have something worse to deal with because uh, Ariel is poisoned. So I think we have a berry here. Yeah, we do. Uh, Petcha berry. Oh, whoops. We're gonna give it to uh, Aqua. Right, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna go to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and oh, Looker. Ah, yes, it is you, yes. I have heard that team, that team Galactic appeared at this power plant. You know, funny thing is, I was playing Ultra Moon like a while ago, and then when I got to like the battle tree, cause I, I haven't played I haven't played Ultra Moon in around two weeks, cause I finished the game. So I, I was playing a while ago, and then I saw Looker. I was like, whoa, whoa, this is the guy, right? This is the guy from Platinum. So yeah, just a fun story. So I have heard that the team Galactic appeared at this power plant. I have therefore come running. So the team Galactic, where are they? Dot 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 because we're red and apparently we can't talk. You have run them off, you say. You're a trainer, but very well, I should go investigate inside. So anyway, like I was saying. Oh wow. Magnific magnificent, yes it is. What you have said, it is all true. Super though you are young, you are a trainer though through and thorough. Through and through. Wait no. Yeah, through and through. I read that as thorough. Very well, I shall pursue the culprits. I have received tips that the Team Galactic hideout is in Eternal City. Which, coincidentally, is where we're supposed to go, but we have to go through Eterna Forest first. And which is, that's a really good place for grinding. So yeah, to there I must be off. Alright guys, so, like I said, we're going to heal. Uh, we're going to heal. And that should be... Uh, our agenda we're going to heal and then we'll see uh we'll see where we go from there so yeah hmm all right just a story guys just a rant it's not related to any of my pokemon but while i was playing emerald when i was a kid i used no sapphire sorry sapphire was the first ever pokemon game i played and i used to actually just use my starter i'm pretty sure most of you guys have done this too just over leveling your starter because you didn't have an idea that you can actually beat the elite that you can beat the i mean you can beat the elite four in the champion with just your starter but it would be really hard considering type advantages and stuff so yeah but anyway when i logged in to like the first ever save file that i made i still have it right with me i had a level 72 septile five badges and like, I think a Zigzagoon that knows Surf that's level 2. Or a Puchiena. And then I was like, what the hell? Okay. I, I was just surprised. But then again, like when you're a kid, you don't really have an idea of what you're doing. So, 
to just stick with their starter and I guess that's really fine. So right now we're on our way to Eterna Forest and I'll stop at the entrance of the Eterna Forest. Maybe grind a little and we should be fine. Uh, the next time you'll see our Pokemon, they're probably going to be at level 20. And yeah, let's just talk to this guy right here. If you slather sweet honey, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, we're not trying to get a Munchlax, which is so rare. But yeah, here we go. Uh, we're trying to find, again, two wild encounters. And we find the, whatever that is, which I don't like. There's no mountain here, but I'm dressed to hike. Haha, <laughs> here goes. Well, a hiker, Daniel. Yeah, I oh yeah, fun tip guys. Steel is also effective against rock. We should be able to take this. Oh! That's a useless turn. That's a useless turn. Uh, bubble. Bubble should take it out. And yeah, we might actually get to level 20, so I don't need to like level up one more time. And we can learn Bubble Beam. Okay, nice. Let's just see. 65. This one is... Oh, okay, we're definitely learning this. It's an upgrade for sure. And we learned Bubble Beam. That's great. And we should be able to sweep through his whole team. Oh, bigger bubbles. Wow. <laughs> And the last Geodude we should be able to take care of. And we beat him. Just like that. So, yeah. Oh yeah, a refreshing battle that was. Very nice. And I just tried to get the item right here. But yeah, anyway, where is Eterna Forest? I guess I'll just beat all these trainers and I will see you guys at the entrance. Okay, so we found the heal ball, and uh, I'm just on my way to fighting more trainers, so yeah. Alright guys, so I don't think the forest is near enough. So yeah, I guess this is where we have to end the episode, but we did a lot. We made it to Florama Town, we got a new Psyduck, which probably won't even see in battle, just HMs, and uh... We got here, we got to the middle of Route 205 and uh, considering that we did a lot and considering that we managed to beat the Team Galactic uh, Commander Mars with uh, just Staravia, Ariel's Return, that was really good. I I, I thought that uh, that's the speed of the Purple Ugly would manage to actually get us and we'll be forced to use a Toxic uh, our, our aqua with toxic so yeah it's a good thing that we did survive though so yeah i'm grateful for that and we got a lot of xp so yeah i guess that this ends our episode for today if you enjoyed don't forget to leave a like comment and smash that subscribe button so yeah that does it guys and i will see you in the next one which will be tomorrow so in tomorrow's episode we will be going to eterna forest and completing it and in the episode after that, we're going to be taking on the Eternal City Gym. And I forgot her name, but we're using Staravia. For sure, we're using Aria. Anyway, see you guys and peace out.